What is going on guys? Grape here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to make a quick video talk, talking about all the rumors that are kind of surrounding Modern Warfare right now with the Battle Royale mode. We know that Battle Royale was leaked months ago, but now the PC data miners have gotten the game. You know, the game's been out for a while and they've got in and found a lot more information. I'm going to link all this information down in the description below if you guys would like to read over it for yourself. I'm not going to go into great detail about everything because this is all just leaks. I don't want to put out any misinformation. But I kind of want to just talk about some of the high points that they discussed within this, you know, data mine leak. The first thing is that it looks like Raven Software is still the company that is making this. So it's not going to be Infinity Ward. It's going to have a totally different company, which I find to be a breath of fresh air if that is true. That way, Infinity Ward can work on multiplayer and Raven can work on Raven Software can work on just the Battle Royale. That way we get, you know, good updates for both modes. Also, they talked about, you know, it's still being released in early 2020 and it also being a free to play game that you can just go and download off, you know, the either PC store uh, or, you know, like something like Battle.net. I'm not sure where they're going to actually add this in. They hadn't talked about that yet or like just the Xbox store or the PSN store, something like Apex or Fortnite. You know, where you can just go in, download it and play it for free. It won't be connected to the game where you have to own the game to play it. Also, they talked about some other things within this like player count. They said it could be up to 200 players with solos, duos and squads which is pretty interesting. They also talked about all the different areas on the map, which is, it does look like a pretty large map. There's a lot of different areas and also a lot of different points of interest. I'm not sure what the points of interest will be. If it's going to be something like higher tier loot areas, they're not going to that kind of detail with this. It's just pretty much things they found within the file. Also some conversation about respawn token uh, tokens, allowing players to find these tokens on the map and, you know, kind of pick up their teammates and respawn them. Uh, which kind of reminds me of something like you would see in Apex. Also, they talked about missions being added into Battle Royale, where a certain squad could have one mission active you know, per game, and you can do cer certain things within these missions. I'm not sure exactly what these missions go are going to detail, but that does seem pretty interesting also. Uh, some other things they talked about were you know, the different types of armor, of course, helmets and body armor. Pretty much the same thing we've seen in all Battle Royale modes in the past. You know, You have higher tier and lower tier armors. Also, they talked about perks being added into the game, which, of course, was in Blackout. There's a lot of perks within this. Most of them you have seen in the multiplayer, but some of them are new. And last but not least, they did discuss kill streaks being in Battle Royale, which I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work or if people are going to like that. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But there's a lot of information, like I said, within this article. I'm going to link it down in the description below so you guys can read over it if you are interested in Battle Royale. I know a lot of you out there are. But like I said, I don't want to give out too much misinformation until we have a confirmation from Infinity Ward about exactly what's happening with this Battle Royale mode, if it is something that is true. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. If you'd like to hit the like. If you had not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.